Ich bin Genangang. 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 Also. Oh. Can I have a ride? Just like that, the boys are back together again. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, that's why. Oh, it's hot. Hot. Hot, warm, muddy oh. water. First order of business on a very hot day, we're gonna go cool off at some waterfalls. Right? Hey guys, welcome to Kata Eel. We're going to the famous Mahano waterfalls. Me and my Canadian friend Brett. Tara na, sigi na, tana. Being back in the province makes me feel like I'm right at home. I love it. I love everything about it. How could you not? Mahanob! Mahanob! <laughs> Pinch me, dude. Where am I? Is this real life? I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be, and you will know that feeling when it happens because everything feels like a dream. I feel one with everything. It's like this unification of all the freaking banana trees and the grass and the water and just heart is where heart. Heart is where your home is. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Home is where your heart is. My heart is in the Philippines and you guys knew it. I knew you guys knew it. I see the comments. I know you can tell. I, you guys aren't silly people. And I'm always thankful and it's always just a nice gentle reminder to yourself that you're right where you belong. Oh man. Oh, and I'm back. It just felt like it was only two weeks ago Kyle and I were together in Canada. Now we're in the jungle in, in, in Mindanao. Chasing waterfalls. Do what we do best, man. I'm so thankful. Kyle keeps calling me Tarzan. I think I'm just gonna rock with it. <laughs> oh, life, what, I just, gosh. Count your blessings, that's all I can say. Count your blessings. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that I'm here. I know I keep saying it in all my vlogs, but like I truly, I can't believe it. The vast amount of trees and shrubs and bushes, it's like, dude, this is National Geographic. Ow! Even though we're not like that far away from Kyle's place, dude, you live you live in the jungle. We live in the jungle. Dude, you're welcome to the east coast of Mindanao. East coast of Mindanao, Look baby. At Mindanao, man. Look at it! God, Mindanao has my heart. All of this is new to me. This was the first stop of the day. We're both starving. I got hair in my mouth. Yeah, you do have hair in your mouth. 
20 I was gonna say 2020 it's 220 <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Dude, dude, this is living. This is what life is about. Taking a little little bath in a watering what is this? What is it called? Irrigation ditch. Irrigation ditch. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> ah! <laughs> After a nice little dippity dip dip, Kyle and I made our way back through this little barangay to where we parked the car, obviously. Uh, and then we made our way to this market to try to find some fish for the boys. What is it? It's like pusit? It's like pusit. Look at Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I'm trying to find some baka, but they don't have it here, which is beef. So I might get some fish, but I, that, that's not pusit, it's a... Uh, I'm gonna go get my friend, Bali Krako. I'll come back. <laughs> I love it. I miss being in these markets so much. <laughs> so they have this They have this thing. Yeah. It's like pusit, but it's not pusit. Yeah. It's called... Uh, problem is the boys can't eat it. Oh it? yeah, that's right. So, Jendi and Kumar are allergic to pretty much any sea and shell fish that's not Isda. That's not an actual fish. I love this kind of stuff. Very provincial, small, low-key markets that they have what you need. Except today, they didn't have baka. Seatbelt, Brett. Dude, your car is like an alien. <laughs> oh yeah. How long, baby? Oh my gosh, okay, this is. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, he, he got nice. Yeah. The best. Ginetan Lanka, Ginetan Kusunasagin, he's the get log. And a whole lot of love. That's crazy, I've never seen that before. Ginetan Lanka with. Oh my goodness. Dude. I like Lanka stuff, you know. Lamika I miss this so much. I'm actually not just saying this. That's some of the best. It would be coconut based curry, right? Yeah. It's some of the best coconut curry I've ever had. It's perfectly salty. Spices are like just right. Spice is life. And rice is life. That was phenomenal. And as Kyle said, normally those Karanderias open at like 10? 9? No, 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 the best time for food is that because it's all the lunch stuff gets cooked fresh, right? Right, okay. So once everybody goes and eat lunch though, after lunch it's kind of like, I gotta interrupt you, Peter Pan. So Pan Pan in Visaya and Tagalog in the Philippines is bread and this is Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a legit bakery. <laughs> That's amazing. As I was saying, we were there late and the food was still delicious. And there was actually a decent amount there. I'm surprised it wasn't gone because it was phenomenal. And I don't know why that was the first time seeing... Do you call it Lanka Ginetaang or Ginetaang Lanka? Gineta. Actually, that's a good question. Is it Ginetaang Lanka or Lanka Ginetaang? I always thought it was I like. I think it's Guinea first. Yeah, yeah Guinea Because it's like, like that's the substance, is the coconut milk. Yeah, the coconut like milk. The adjective, descriptive word. There you go. Okay. Well, we'll just go with that. But if it's not that, just comment below. Let, it, let us know. You know what else rhymes with Guinea Ginangang. Which I'm hoping. Kind of. Uh, do you want one? Yeah. Okay, Opaka Ginangang. Palihog dua, wala sugar, wala margarine. Plain ba, dua. 20 pesos? For four. Yeah, five pieces of pot. No way. Go ahead. Hey, hey. <laughs> a little bit of pie pie action going on there, buddy guy. Ginangang. Yeah. <laughs> so good. You can get these ginangang with or without sugar. Sometimes they're deep fried, but I just think what nature provides in itself, it's just beautiful. 
So I usually just get it plain and it's cooked over coconut charcoal, uling. I'm so happy to be here. I, I'm, I'm thriving, thriving. Being with Brett inspires me to be healthy. That's so hot, be careful, be careful. <laughs> See you at home. Mm. So healthy, so simple, so hot, be careful. It's really hot, it's not lying. It's really serious, it's honest. They weren't using Uling, were they? What? It wasn't Uling. We're being Ganangang, Ganangang, Ganangang. Oh. <laughs> Round two of trying to find. This car has too many things going on. Jeez. We've made it back to Kyle's. I can't wait to give you guys a full tour of this place. I am honestly in shock about just how beautiful it is and the Filipino architecture, the architect who built it. It's stunning. It just started to rain. It opened up for us today. It was just meant to be. Now the clouds are moving in. Look at that, Zumbu! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's soaking wet. Wow. They have dogs. They have a puppy. I'm absolutely obsessed right now, but also a bit sad. <laughs> but I would get along with them so well. Every morning, I've been getting up around 5 or 6 a.m., and this is how I start my day. I kick things off with a little bit of yoga, meditation, setting the intentions for the day. I made my way to the coconut tree that they have abundantly growing around their entire yard. Not just one, there's there's multiple trees in their yard that they have. Amazing. I cut one. Hey, that was pretty good. That was my first try, let's go. Now I want you guys to comment below because there's probably a 90% chance I'm not cutting it the right way. If you have any tips, let me know. I need to improve. Always. There's always room for improvement. Now, I don't know if it's from this side or this side, but... Look at that. Oh my god. These are the best coconuts on the planet. Oh my god. Okay, back back to the vlog. <laughs> hey Brad. <laughs> Green honey. Green honey. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. From wasp. Wasp honey. Mm. So I've never ever seen that. Look at look, look at the color of it. Look at that. It's green. It's green. Green honey from wasps, like that's some local stuff right there, boy. Kumar just put some on his coconut. Honey. Mm. Kumar was actually the first person I saw when I arrived. Nobody else was home, it was just him. Maybe in other parts of the planet, wasps honey exists, but this is the first time I've ever seen it or even heard of it. Okay. It tastes like it's fermented a little bit. Like it has this like sour, sour, sour taste to it. Doesn't taste like any other honey I've ever tried in my life. It's delicious. And there's nothing added to it, right? Yeah. Unfiltered, unprocessed. That's actually on Kumar and mine's list is to go find the source where it comes from and do a whole video about that because green honey, like that's just the most unique thing I've ever even come across. Mmm. Mother Nature always provides. You just gotta know the right people and be in the right place for it. Look at that. Saba banana. Look at the whole stalk. This is all a man needs in life. Banana, coconut, waterfall, kumar, Jundi somewhere. I don't know where he is right now, he's not here. Oh my god. Down, down. 
the whole fridge thing, that was something I learned when I was staying in Chargao when I first came to the Philippines with my sister. The place that we were staying at would serve their coconut cold. They left it in the fridge and honestly on a hot day, such a good snack. You need kada adaw diri sa Pilipinas. It's perfect. It's Look at this dude! You can't tell them why. You can't tell them why. Nobody's gonna know until they know. Look at that! I admire that shirt. That shirt's actually Does this beautiful. Look good on me though. You look great. It's fun, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna get these ironed, and then I'm gonna. Guapoka Ayo. That is the vlog for today. Get ready for more, man. I'm back. We're back. If you were not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Slap that like button. Freddy gang in the house. Oh yeah. <laughs>